Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Going to have great services tonight, main campus, south campus, east campus, heading into the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, not only are we having communion, but we're going to finally finish the book of Acts. It'll be our last sermon in the book of Acts. I didn't quite make it 10 years. Sister Bev is laughing at me. If I would have gone to February, which I really could have if I'd stretched a few things, but if I'd gone to February, it would be a full decade in the book of Acts. It's been a great study. We're finishing out this week. Right now, I want us to get back to the book of 2 Peter chapter 2. 2 Peter chapter 2. And I want you to notice what I would call the prey of a false prophet. If you look at a false prophet as a predator, and that's really what they are. They are predators on God's people. How does a predator act and how does, what is the prey of this false prophet predator? I want you to notice in verse 14, with eyes full of adultery, they're always looking at girls or boys or whatever. With eyes full of adultery, they never stop sinning. Th these people have never stopped sinning. I mean, they just, they live a life of sinfulness and call it freedom. They seduce the unstable. All right, so their prey is the unstable. They are experts in greed. That's what they get out of their prey is money. Now come over a little bit farther. Uh, let's start with verse 17. These men are springs without water, mist driven by a storm, black as darkness is reserved for them. For they mouth empty boastful words, and by appealing to the lustful desires of the sinful nature, they entice people who are just escaping from those who live in error. Notice, they entice those that are just escaping, baby Christians. They promise them freedom while they themselves are slaves of depravity, for man is a slave to whatever has mastered him. If they have escaped the corruption of this world by knowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and are again entangled in it and overcome, then they're worse off than at the beginning. Now I want you to notice what the Apostle Peter tells us. These predators, these spiritual predators called false prophets, their purpose of getting their prey is to exploit them for finances. That's the only thing they think about is money. But notice who they go after. They go after the spiritually unstable, and they go after the spiritual babies, those that are just escaping. And notice how they bring them down. They promise them freedom. Oh, those people are into legalism. Those people have too many bowels. But all they are is slaves to their own depravity. Now, brothers and sisters, if you're a young baby Christian listening to me right now, you need to understand that not everybody who claims to be a Christian and not everybody who claims to be a Christian leader really is one in God's sight. And there are many false prophets that have gone out into this world, false leaders that have gone out into this world. And all they care about is getting money from you. And they will let you live in your sin. They don't care. They, they don't care about you living a holy life. They, they promise you the freedom in Christ. You can live in all the sin you want. And they call that freedom, but it's really bondage. But all they are is predators. You need to find good churches with stable pastors who teach you the Word of God and teach you to live a holy life.